kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tablescape Tuesday 22. And welcome to At Home with Lisa Lisa. Today, you all, I am going to be doing a fall rustic style tablescape. Yes. And I want to welcome anyone who is new. This is their first time. I welcome you. And those that are returning, I welcome you back. Thank you all so, so much for your support. I appreciate it. So as you all see here, I am trying to get together this swag. It is not cooperating with me at all. It has been um, packaged up in a bin. And so, you know, with these dry florals, you know, when they get packaged up, you know, it's hard to get those leaves and stuff, you know, the way you want them to be. But anyway, I'm trying to get them straight and all. And I like this swag. I love the rustic look that it gives as well too and also to this tablescape tuesday 22 is by amethyst adventures and the grace life diy home decor if you all are not familiar with these ladies please do me a huge favor and go over to their channel watch a short video and leave them a comment and let them know at home with Lisa Lisa sent them. Don't forget to press the subscribe bit, um, subscribe and the notification bell so you'll know every time they post. I'm sure they're gonna be so so happy for you guys to tune in to their content. So as you can see now, I have stepped away. I need to take a breather because it don't want to act right, y'all. It's it's giving me a hard time. So now I am adding a candelabrum here and I am trying to make it work. I am trying to make it work with this swag here, but it does not want to bend like I want it to. And I can't understand why, because it has the wire in there for me to be able to manipulate it. But it's not working for me. And that's okay, y'all, because y'all know I'm going to come up with a solution. So grab your drink. Grab your snack, sit back and relax and enjoy this tablescape. And I will be back and meet you all at the reveal. And don't forget, y'all, don't click off because what you see now may not be what you see at the reveal because I'm always adding, taking away and changing things. So stay tuned to the reveal i appreciate each and every one of you all right y'all i'll see y'all at the reveal don't forget to drink and your snack and sit back and relax
Welcome back, everyone. We are here at The Reveal. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in and being patient while I create this fall rustic style tablescape. So right now, I'm just lighting the candles. I just think that when you have the candles, candles lit, everything just looks so cohesive it looks elegant it just looks nice it makes the tablescape look really really nice y'all some of these uh candles they act like they didn't want to um <laughs> they act like they didn't want to light up so yeah you guys i hope that you all appreciate and like this tablescape that i have created for you and I also hope that it motivates and inspires you to create a tablescape or a vignette or, you know, a space in your home. Spruce it up. So right here, I'm showing you the chair at the end. I decided to use a Lombard pillow here with a rustic color blanket and um, 
I always say that um, whatever space that you're decorating, that it should show um, rhythm and repetition. And what I mean by the repetition is that you will see in the end, I'll come back and talk about that. But here, let's talk about this place setting. You see the um, mat that I'm using, I'm using the wood charger. Then I have like a heavy dark brown plate with a wood plate on top. And then I use the rustic color napkin with a little shimmer to it. And then we have this pumpkin here. And that's the fall part of this tablescape, me using the pumpkins and the pine cones and the corn throughout. So that's what made the rustic tablescape be fall. And as you can see, I have that pumpkin at the end here. And I decided to use the um, some pine cone bells, I'm sorry, some acorn bells to tie around my napkins to make it look a little gorgeous there. Y'all, I love this pine cone candle. This is my first time lighting it. I just love it, love it, love it. It is so cute. So all I did was just put a clear glass container over that and it just looks simply gorgeous. And then I decided to use this clear vase and I just put some you know, some fall fillers in there. You have pine cones, you have um, acorns in there as well too. So I thought that added volume to the tablescape. But yeah, you all, y'all saw me struggling in the beginning with this here um, swag here, but it turned out, it turned out really nice. So yeah, there's that um, acorn bell there. And all I did was, um, I just tied around the napkin very simple but it made the place setting look very very elegant and then here we have another pumpkin here and i did the same thing at this end of the table as i did the other end of the table so y'all remember now i have that black and white striped pillow there in that chair so remember i have that on both ends there and so I added some more dry florals in with that swag just to give it the fullness. And there again, I have another pumpkin there. And there's the corn, as you all can see. So I really enjoyed doing this tablescape um, for you all. So there you have it, our centerpiece. It is simply gorgeous. And you see the black and white striped ribbon on there. That's the repetition throughout this tablescape. And when you're doing repetition, that means that you may have a pattern or a color in one place in your decor setting, and then you'll have it in another place. So the way I did my repetition throughout this tablescape is I used the black and white stripe Lombard pillows, and then there's the black and white stripe bow on the um pumpkin centerpiece and if you guys didn't catch that video go back and catch that video where i showed how i created the pumpkin um fall centerpiece so yeah you guys this is it this is the reveal and this is how my fall rustic style tablescape turned out i appreciate you all oh so much and please don't forget to go over and check out amethyst adventures and the grace life diy home decor and let them know that I sent you over there. And this is the end of this video, you all. I hate to go. I hate to leave you all. Oh, and also, too, thank you guys for 495 subscribers. We have the community tab. So I will be utilizing the community tab. Thank you all so, so much because I could not do this without you all. And until next time, at home with Lisa Lisa is signing off. All right, have a good one. Love bugs. Bye bye. Kick back and catch a vibe.
we at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa, Lisa.